Hello and welcome to another tutorial on how to use the zoom and pan function on Camtasia Studio 6. Camtasia, Camtasia Studio 6 is a good version and has been upgraded from number 5 and it is much better. One thing that most people find annoying about it and have complained about is the zoom and pan functions. As like in Camtasia 5, you could you you could put a function on where wherever your mouse moves, it, the zoom and pan function follows it. But in Camtasia Studio 6, it is quite different. If I just import a media in, this is my other YouTube tutorial on how to free up hard disk space. And now if I just click and drag that into my timeline here, that's just adding to the timeline. Now if I change the preset to YouTube, if I want to have it as a YouTube video, click OK. And now, if I choose the zoom and pan function here in the edit, and if I just say that I want it halfway through, say over here, okay? And now, all I do is I just zoom that in there. Say if I just want to put it on the settings bit. And then I can choose um to one of one it faster, slower on how how fast it moves onto uh, onto the zoom. Now when I'm finished with that, you know, and then you can zoom back out. And then when I'm finished with that, you just click finish. And then there you have it. You've got the zoom and pan functions. Now if I just show you a bit of this. If I just turn off the sound here, so that you won't hear my voice, because okay, now, oh, sorry, yeah, and now uh, you can see that it zooms in. I zoom back out. All the zooms and stuff like that, and I will put this into this video as well, the zoom and pan. So. I hope this tutorial has been useful to you and if you have any more question or video requests just message me on my YouTube account. Thank you for watching and remember comment, rate and subscribe. Thank you.